everyone in today's video we shall learn how to do this impact quote or basically a text message that has everything centralized together one below the other so let's get started so as usual I'm going to type down the code and explain every bit of the equation and towards the end of the video we shall test out the code to see if we made any mistakes and if we did we shall learn how to correct them so from the example we can see that there are three lines of text one below the other and it is centralized and when it is one below the other in notion the first thought that must come to your mind is substack so that's the first function that you're going to use so go ahead and put that down into the equation so once this is done this is the main function which within which everything else comes in so the next thing that you want to consider is the font size and the font itself so I'm going to go ahead and put down large with a capital L and a sans serif font so the next thing to do in order to get the slant effect is I have to open a bracket and inside which I have to put in text IT to give it the slant effect that you're seeing on the screen so after this is where you get to put in your text and I'm going to put in hey and close the text as well so now we can go ahead and trace back since this is the end of the first line so this is done we still have this to put so go ahead and close that as well so this is done but the substack uh, open bracket will be closed at the very end so this is the end of the first line all we have to do is put in two backslashes which goes to the second line so now for the second line we have to again type in the kind of text that we want and for that I'm again going to keep it simple and go for sans serif uh, kind of font so from the example we can see that it has a slight uh, golden color to it so we can go ahead and do that so go ahead and open a bracket and a slash and a use the color function slash color and use the color name golden rod to get the exact same uh, color and close the color I mean close the bracket as well so now we have to go ahead and manual space it to get it exactly in the middle and for that we have to mm, put in three uh, slashes with the space in between and we are done so now after this give it another space and now we have to use in the function or uh, the font size and I'm going to again go for large since we already mentioned it earlier for the hay part so yeah go ahead and do that and again to get that slant effect I'm going to again use the text IT uh, function that is the text italic in notion so again uh, we have to put in a word or a sentence that you want over here so I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, soon with the exclamatory mark and go ahead and close it so now we are done with the second sentence almost so go ahead and type in two backslashes to go to the second line so now for the third line it's really simple and it is almost uh, well it is same as the first sentence you can go ahead and copy it but uh, I'm going to type it out large and the sans serif font and again go ahead and open a bracket and use the italic font that you have and open the bracket and type in the content that you want and let's say okay um, and close it off so now we are almost towards the end of the equation so all we have left to do is trace back and see if we have any open brackets so this is done we have one there so go ahead and put that in there and this is done this is done and we have one there so go ahead and put that as well and this portion is done all we have left is one uh, open bracket that is uh, to close off the stack so we are done 
So this is the end of the equation. So let's go ahead and try this equation out. So I'm going to type in a word and let's copy it. If you know the equation by heart, you can go ahead and try it. Uh, I mean, type the word and uh, create an equation on it. So since I copied it, I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So this isn't the result that we quite hope to see, isn't it? So let's see what we did wrong. So let's go ahead and backspace it. So uh, this is done. This is also done. And this is done. This is also done. This is done. Okay, I see it. So since we have uh, one open bracket, the line should be closed on the same line as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Close the bracket. Okay. So I think we can go ahead and remove one bracket since we put everything at towards the end. So I'm going to backspace it. Okay, I think we have seen quite a drastic improvement. Click on done. So to increase this to two. And yeah, there we go. It's probably about the brackets and the endpoints and the spacing. All of that makes a huge difference and um, it makes all the difference, you know. So like this, you can make your own impact quote. You can actually make an inspirational quote as well or something like that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so I hope you learned something from this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.